I think the trust came from he was my dad. And as a child, you're supposed to be able to trust your dad. You're supposed to be able to rely on your parents to take care of you, to have your best interest at heart. And you don't question your parents. You don't question your mom or your dad. It's very, it's supposed to be a very trusting relationship. And you're supposed to know that your dad's there to protect you. My, my dad had just uh, left and uh, he had just moved out to go pursue business and uh, left the family. And so uh, I needed someone that would uh, kind of take me under their wing and he was uh, ready and willing and, uh, and he wanted to hang out with me. And as an 11 year old, uh, looking at a, a college age guy thinking he wants to hang out with me, this is amazing. This is, this is something that's unheard of in my life. And my parents weren't watching for predators in our home. They weren't looking for that person to be there. I don't know that it was even something in their, in their thought pattern, in their mindset. Um, this was somebody that was trusted. It was somebody with degrees, uh, college degrees. Uh, it was somebody that was skilled at working with children. If anything, they might have thought that it was pretty special that he was giving me special attention because he was such a trusted member of society, of our of our world. So it probably gained him access just by, and I, I imagine now that that was a very calculated uh, thing on the part of the predator, on the part of the man that abused me. But uh, he, uh, he gained access, and then once he had access, he maintained that access through gifts and, um, and just anything he needed to do to, to, to uh, keep us together. So we'd go on trips together. Uh, we would uh, spend a lot of holidays together.